Hello, I'm Arturas. Today I'm going to show you the invisible part of full flight simulator, the maintenance of visual system. The visual system defects are the most obvious defects of full flight simulator. Each simulator visitor can notice them easily. Compare yourself. The center screen behind me is in normal mode. The first officer screen is lacking of red color. To repair this defect, we need to replace red color tube. Now we are going to change it. The first step in tube replacement is to reduce the intensity of desired tube. To take even more safety precautions, we will stop image generation program. Now we are ready to turn off projector. Now we are going to cut off with the projector power. We have to wait about 10-20 minutes until the projector will cool down. While projector is cooling down, we have to prepare for tube replacement. Normally tube replacement should be carried by two persons, so I invited my colleague to help me. Right now we will undo the screws to remove the projector covers. This is an assembly of cathode ray tube. On the front face you can see the glass screen which emits the image. Also you can see the black knobs to adjust the internal coils to accelerate and manage the stream of electrons. In the end you can see the tube cooling air stream. And most important there is a high voltage lead. New tube is ready to install. The tube is installed and we are closing all the doors and installing the projector covers. Okay, start image generation.
Now, image generation is starting up. After tube replacement, we need to power on the projector. On startup, we got the blur screen. Now, we need to verify if there is no any overbright spots. All seems okay, so I am able to disable this blur screen. As you can see, the screen is pretty good. The maintenance of visual system is not an easy job. After installing the new tube, we need another two or three hours to precisely set up the image of visual system.